Now how super cool are these little fish? These are called spotted box fish and these spotted box fish are just the loveliest little thing. They've got beautiful little personalities. Um, it looks like a little head without a body where it sort of swivels its head around. Um, it's important to be careful with the water flow that you put these in. You want to make sure it's not um, directional flow that they can get stuck on. So um, you want to make sure that you've got power heads that, that um, they can't get stuck in. See this one's okay because it's got a, it pulls from 365 degrees which means that um, there's less likely to get stuck on it. And other things, boxfish can actually release a toxin if they die. Um, I don't recall ever having a problem with that but definitely um, am aware of it. They are quite a slow feeder so the main problem you ever have with these little heads without a body is if the other fish in the tank are too gluttonous and they eat all the food and these little dudes don't ever get to eat because they um, end up starving. So they do very well fed on live brine shrimp then you can get them onto frozen brine shrimp then you can even get them onto pellets like spectrum and so forth but um, it does depend on the individual box fish so you do need to be prepared to play around with their feeding um, they will come and eat food right out of your fingers and stuff like that you can see even by watching these guys how inquisitive they are they're sort of watching this cling fish down the bottom get sort of almost like wondering what the hell it is um, just magnificent fish so the main things to be careful of is food because they can be because in the wild they just like to pick off little bits of food all day long so they're definitely a grazing um, plucker so in a reef tank um, be careful of any two real stingy corals or stingy and enemies too because um, you don't want them to get stuck in it um, but any well established live rock tanks where the live rock um, has got plenty of microorganisms um, it's good to have a refrigium so you get to replenish those microorganisms so I've also seen them kept with things like seahorse because the seahorse are nice scavengers as well if you can set a tank up that will run on sponge filters so there's no way that they're going to get stuck in it and um, fed on live brine shrimp so they can graze all the time and got plenty of copepods and amphipods and so forth in well established live rock that's really the sort of environment these guys want but they do get very friendly, they do come and eat food out, out of your hand and all that sort of stuff which is all good but it it's, would be unusual for them to get enough food in a single um, session to actually withstand their health and growth so having food in the environment that they can nibble on is pretty important anyway if you've got any experience keeping boxfish or if you've got anything to add to this little spiel be sure to put a little note down the bottom and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.